transducer over here, and this is its beam coming out. There are two zones. Uh, technically, they're the Fresnel zone and the Fraunhofer zone. They're often just called the near field and the far field. Well, the near field is important to us because all of our best focus and the ability to introduce a focal point has to occur in this area. This area gets longer the bigger the transducer and the higher the frequency. So there's some advantages to having a big transducer. Well, if you think about the electronic ones we have now, they've got lots and lots of transducers. Each one is very small. So the very small ones are not going to do well here. But you can get around that by firing them in groups. So if you fire 10 of them or 20 of them at the same time, you've effectively created a single bigger transducer. Then you just shift down one or two and fire that next group and repeat that to get your moving image. But, uh, and I think that's all the time we'll spend with that. But if you want to focus a transducer, uh, it has to be within that near field. So it has to have properties that will let you work at that level. You can't put the focus way out here no matter what kind of a lens or whatever you might put on.